It's such a joy once again to come to you and have a talk. This is Reverend Ruth Wamoyo. And today I want us to talk about setting boundaries in relationships. Uh, they, it may be in marriage, it may be in friendship, it may be in the church, or probably even uh, with friends. And uh, it's a great challenge, especially when you're growing up and when probably you're maturing as a teenager because you, you're, you're prone to peer pressure. But I've realized that boundaries in relationship begin from when you're young and even older. How far should you allow people to influence your decisions or to take away your happiness? How much are you willing to sacrifice? And in this time and era, there is something that is so consistent that people are less patient, people are, are less willing to, uh, to, to sacrifice their happiness and all that because of you. So what do you do when you genuinely feel that I need this relationship Maybe I would say like you've fallen in love. How much should you fall? Um, because if you fall in love and you don't understand the art of setting boundaries, you will sacrifice yourself, passions, your values, your beliefs. You will sacrifice even that which you hold dear, the convictions of your heart in the name of keeping relationships. And I would urge anybody that is in especially a love relationship, it is very important that when you begin the relationship, let your boundaries be already set. What are these boundaries I'm talking about? Communicate them very well. Communicate what are your values? What is your vision and passion in life? How far can you allow the person to go? And let communicate it in a way that they understand that if they cross the boundary, this is a consequence. Because people will always want to get themselves, you know, the, the people, we are generally selfish as human beings and you want to get the best out of relationship. And when you don't set boundaries, you will be wounded you will be having a conflict time and again, and you'll always be complaining and be bitter. But you can avoid that if you know how to set boundaries. There are several boundaries you need to set in your family. How far can my family go when it comes to making decisions, or maybe probably into my personal space? My friends, how much can I socialize and still be comfortable and not break my pocket or break my bank because of a friendship? When it comes to marriage, how much can I take or give in this relationship? Do I have to die in this relationship? Because I feel society will feel that I am not the correct man or correct woman. Or should I let go because we have differences? All these are boundaries that as an individual, nobody will do it for you. And I've realized that people who don't set boundaries will always shift blame. It is time to take up responsibility and say, this happened because I allowed it, but now I'm taking my power back. I encourage you to take the power back, relate with people, not only under their terms, but also have power and have something to bring on the table because people will only go as far as you allow them to go.